Hey guys, so we're gonna keep with our um, with our learning about animals and what animals need in order to help them survive. So this is gonna be the page that you're gonna see for science today. It's called Ducks vs. Hummingbirds. And we're gonna be comparing and contrasting the ducks versus the hummingbirds. So you've probably seen a Venn diagram before. So we're gonna watch two videos. We're gonna watch one video on ducks and we're gonna watch one video on um, hummingbirds and then you're going to put things that maybe are similar about ducks and hummingbirds in the Venn diagram. In order to do that you might want to use um, this text box tool up here. I would if I was you I would click that text box tool, draw a box in here, and you can start typing whatever um, ducks have and whatever hummingbirds have and then you might put a third text box in the middle for something that they both have. So we're going to watch our video about ducks first. So just keep in mind some things that you're learning about ducks. So then maybe after this video, we could write some more things on that side. So it's kind of a little bit longer video, but maybe you'll learn some new things about ducks. In that case, you can be duck experts together. The most basic thing that everyone needs to know about ducks is that ducks are semi-aquatic birds. Can you say semi-aquatic? So yeah. semi-aquatic means that they're a sometimes in the water. semi-aquatic animal is an animal that lives partly on land and partly in the water. There you Ducks go. spend most of their time on and around water, but they also can spend time on land. So they are considered semi-aquatic or semi-aquatic, am I right? <laughs> no. Joke Which funny. leads us to our next fact. Ducks love the water. It even looks like this duck is smiling in the water. Water allows ducks to keep themselves clean and helps them with eating. If ducks eat and do not have access to water, they can actually choke. Plus, there are so many things ducks can find to eat in the water. Have you ever seen a duck do this? Ducks often dunk their heads underwater to feast on things in the water, like plants, insects and fish the next time you see a duck with its head underwater just think wow i hope that duck finds something yummy to eat of course that wouldn't be possible without a duck's amazing beak the beak or bill as it is also known as helps a duck discover food and is actually able to filter out stuff that the duck doesn't want to eat like mud yeah. Then the duck swallows what is left in its beak. What a cool system. The beak finds food, snags the food, filters the food, and then the duck swallows what's inside. Another amazing thing that helps ducks do so well in the water is their webbed feet. Ducks have webbed feet. They work kind of like flippers work for people. Their webbed feet help them swim. Without the webbed feet, ducks wouldn't be able to move well in the water. Webbed feet allows ducks to be great swimmers and helps them get to where they need to go in the water. Ducks have yet another advantage, one that is super cool. It's like a superpower. Ducks have waterproof feathers. Wow! Ducks naturally produce a special waterproof oil as they rub all over their feathers with their beaks. This is called preening. When a duck is preening, it is grooming its feathers and also applying the special waterproof oil. Can you say preening? Aha, uh -huh. preening. Without this oil, their feathers would not be waterproof. But once they apply the oil to their feathers by preening, the feathers closest to their skin stay dry, even when they are in the water. This also helps ducks stay warm. Isn't that neat? All right, now we need your help. What are baby ducks called? Hmm. Yep, baby ducks are called ducklings. Aw, they are super cute and tiny. These three ducklings are kind of like the three musketeers. Look out for the ducklings. After they hatch, their mother leads them to the water. So right away, the ducklings learn that they are semi-aquatic. 
Remember, semi-aquatic means that they live partly on the land and partly in the water. Are you able to see the duckling in this picture? Look closely. Yeah! Is the duckling going in the water or staying on land? Who knows? Okay, we've had fun. We've been learning about these interesting birds. But now we have to share something that is almost like a secret. It's like a duck secret. Most people don't know this. Are you ready for this duck secret? Lots of ducks don't quack. Isn't that strange? The most common duck in the world is the mallard duck. Here you can see a female mallard duck and a male mallard duck. Female mallard ducks quack, but male mallard ducks do not. Many other types of ducks don't quack either. So if you hear a quack, there is a big chance that you are hearing a female mallard duck, a duck that looks like this, because most other ducks just don't quack. Hey, what was your favorite fact about ducks? Did one stick out to you? Comment below. We would love to hear what you enjoyed learning in this video. Okay. So like I was saying, that one was about ducks. So you might want to come back over here and you might say something like, ducks have webbed feet to help them swim. Um, we might write, uh, well, if we're thinking ahead, we're thinking about a hummingbird. We know hummingbirds don't quack. So I might use this text box again, and I might add another one here. And we might say, well, actually, this one would probably go here. Because we would say some ducks don't actually quack. And then you might put something else there. And then we're going to watch this video about hummingbirds. This one's not very long. So they're the tiniest birds in the world. A hummingbird will take about 250 breaths per minute while at rest. Hummingbirds have very weak feet and can barely walk. They prefer to fly and they like to perch for most of their life. Hummingbirds have an average lifespan of about five years. So that means they live for about five years. 30% of hummingbirds' weight consists of flight muscles. A hummingbird's brain is 4.2% of its body weight, the largest proportion in the bird kingdom. Hummingbirds need to eat on average seven times per hour for about 30 to 60 seconds. Hummingbirds are very smart and they can remember every flower they have been to and how long it will take a flower to refill. A hummingbird's favorite color is red and they like tubular type flowers the most. Hummingbirds have tiny hairs on the tip of their tongue to lap up nectar. Hummingbirds lay the smallest eggs of all birds. They measure less than a half an inch. Hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly forward, fly backwards, and they can hover in midair, fly sideways, and even upside down. A gorget is the bright flashing colored feathers of the hummingbird's neck. Hummingbirds have no sense of smell, but they can see farther and hear better than humans. Hummingbirds can see ultraviolet light. So, if I was taking that into consideration too, I might be thinking about what, what things did a hummingbird have that a duck didn't. So then I might add a text box over here. Um, could say something about hummingbirds have uh, hummingbirds are the smallest birds in the bird kingdom. And then you might keep going. Um, my challenge for you though is that you add at least three things to both the duck side the hummingbird side and three things that they both have in the middle now if we're thinking about both of them and what they both might have you might have to think of some of the things that they might have adaptations for so hummingbirds have adapted for example um their feet have adapted to them not really walking right so hummingbirds don't really walk they said that their legs were really weak 
but a duck walks and a duck has webbed feet. So I might, for example, put in the middle that um, both have adapted their legs and feet to what they need. And then in order to make all this fit, I'm going to have to make it a little bit wider. I'm going to scooch it over. And then maybe I'll make the fall a little smaller too. So you're going to put, um, my challenge for you is to put at least three things in all the categories. Um, I know that it might be kind of hard to think of some of them, but I guarantee you can find at least three things for ducks and at least three things for hummingbird. So uh, let's spell kingdom right. If you guys have any questions, let me know.